So we're out here day three, Bahia de Los Angeles. It's Tuesday. Um, it's supposed to be a surf trip, but my ankle has made me kind of semi-handicapped. Today's the first day I could really walk comfortably. And it's just beautiful here still. It's, it feels a little warmer today. I'd say it's already 80. It's about, I don't know, 9 o'clock. And you can see way in the distance is our campsite. I'm up on this peninsula past our campsite. And we're inside this huge bay. I'm going to try some snorkeling and just bring my spear gun with me in case I see a halibut. I saw one yesterday. And then over in the distance is where we camped last time. And there's a really killer camp spot right here too. That'd be blocked by the wind. Just for next time. The seagulls. They're saying Mio, Mio, Mio. Same thing they say back at home, but in Spanish seagulls. Mine, mine. Little sick single track here. It'd be really killer to have a mountain bike, but you can only bring so much stuff with you. It just becomes a hassle. But if I lived out here or stayed in a house, I would definitely have a dirt bike or an e-bike or a mountain bike or a quad, and a boat. The list just goes on, but you can't take everything with you. At some point you gotta say the truck is full, and boy is our truck full, or it was at least. So this is a little clip for all my mountain biker buddies back home. Man, what an awesome place to build trails. I guess you'd have to come here and dirt bike everywhere. I'm sure there's some little trails out there, but this place would be, I know I make fun of them, but this would be epic for a electric mountain bike with a little bit bigger of a tire on it, front and back. You could have so much fun out here. There is just some huge mountains behind us. Um, I want to say that that one over there is easily as tall as Saddleback Mountain. I'm not sure what Saddleback Mountain is, but it's just a monster of a mountain that comes straight out of the bay. But wow, talk about endless area for mountain biking. Of course, not in the summer. It looks a lot like Yuma, Arizona when I mountain biked out there. So Craig, you can buy an e-bike, but you gotta come to Baja that big but it walks you know like side instead of walking how their legs are they walk sideways yeah it's oh there's the there's the puffer fish again he's still following me yeah he's still cruising right over here Welcome to the Women's International Bodyboard Finals, sponsored by Transition Bicycles, Mori Boogie Boards, and Playtex Feminine Hygiene Products. Today we're here at beautiful, sunny, southern Baja at the Bahia de los Angeles Women's Bodyboard Contest. Unfortunately, the swell is looking rather small here in this bay that normally never has waves and most of the contestants have not arrived. Yet Amy McFadgen, world champion bodyboard in the Masters division is here and she's poised for victory. <whistles> Heat number one is begun. Amy McFadgen sitting outside. She's thinking positive there could be a sneaker set here. None of the other contestants have shown up so even if she can just catch a single wave, maybe do a drop knee or an El Rolo. She's sure to claim victory here at the women's Transition Bicycles Latex Feminine Products Champion of Women's Bodyboard Contest here in the beautiful 
Bahía de los Ángeles. Amy McFadgen still in heat number one. None of the other competitors have shown up. <laughs> Just not enough swell for the competition this year, but thanks to Transition Bicycles, Maury Boogie, and Playtex Women's Feminine Products, Amy McFadgen is the clear victor. <laughs> oh, you're so crazy. <laughs> you should get your head wet. Trust me. No, Tru that's too brutal. Uh, I'm coming in for a little break. I'm pruny. But I might go for one more lap. No. How does it feel? I just need a break. It's not too bad once it gets a little windy out there. Um, then coming back in, it's nice. You know, I make make one more pass real quick. Don't want to dip the the um the fin into the sand. <laughs> So, and it's weird, but the paddle actually goes the other way. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you know what? I had it that way. Oh, okay. I just, I Sorry. Sorry. open end on the other side of the bay. Look at that. That'd be like a sick downhill mountain bike ride into no no run out, just straight into the ocean. <laughs> and then over here is a marsh. And then we're camped way inside that bay. Just going on a little hike. Oh, I'd say it's colder. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell, huh? Where did that come from? Yeah. Wave with your shadow. Okay, Justin, this footage is for you. We drove in here the first day and we kind of stopped over in here. But if you can notice, up to the right over here was a dirt road. It looks kind of makeable. If you had come, we would have drove up over there <laughs> and looked for an even more remote campsite. But <laughs> this one over here was way too jeepy. My tundra would never make it. But I thought about going right over there and at the top, way over there, we could have looked over there for a campsite, but we decided not. So next time you come, Justin, it's four wheel potential. All kinds of sick Baja terrain. This is one more perspective of our campsite. Really calm today. Normally the wind is blowing out towards the bay since we've been here. Then today it blew this way back towards us and then it just stopped. Very warm right now. It's probably 85 degrees. December 
into December. Just did a big hike. With Amy bringing back some firewood. I don't know if it has a night, night setting. I don't think it does. I don't, I don't think it does. GoPro night vision. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Sorry. I tried. Maybe if you say it. Hmm? GoPro. Form of light bulb. <laughs> nope. Maybe you have to have a light. Oh, no.